Furnishing a small bedroom can be a challenge because you have to balance functionality and style. You will also have to consider the foot traffic to create a conductive area to relax. You do not want clutter to conquer your space, do you? Unfortunately, it is not that easy. Luckily, it is not impossible though. With extra consideration and a clever approach, you can earn the ultimate comfort despite the diminutive proportions. Now, let's begin with the most prominent piece of furniture, the bed. We've listed 12 fascinating bed ideas for small room projects to tackle the diminutive space without compromising a well-designed area. Head on to the simfoam.com link pasted inside the description for more detail. Number 12. A small platform bed project from Pallet Wood at Polygel Nagler. You may wish you had a bigger house with a more spacious bedroom. Unfortunately, it will cost you a fortune. You have no option but to add a twist to the remaining space with the small platform bed. If you are not into DIY projects because you are not good at woodworking, do not worry. This platform bed is effortless. You only need to get six wooden pallets, a nightstand, and plywood boards. First, you need to sand the pallet thoroughly to remove any splinters. Then, stack up the pallets, creating two piles with the nightstand in between. Cover the sides and tops with plywood boards. Finally, Top them with a comfortable mattress. Number 11. Basic idea on how to acquire your own strong and tough platform bed. As a good rule of thumb, you need to earn peace of mind to sleep well. An effective way to make it tangible is to create a strong and tough platform bed that ensures your safety. To make the strong platform bed, you will need one 4x4 and 32 inch by 40 inch, three 2x6s in 10 foot long, one 2x4 stud support bracket, and four casters. You can begin by cutting 2x4 into four pieces to create the leg. Then make the head, foot, and sideboards using 2x6s. Next, Attach the legs to the headboard and footboard, which are shorter than the sideboards. After that, install the long pieces to create the sideboards. Once the frame is ready, you can install the center support beam using 2x4 stud support brackets. You may also need to nail support rails to the sideboards. Finally, install the four casters to the bed legs Lay plywood boards onto the support rails, secure them in place, and top them with a mattress. Or take a little lesson from the specialist on how to secure your queen-size bed and make it more reliable. If you think the previous idea is not sturdy enough, maybe you want to try this platform bed. It consists of a base and top frame, you will have to center the top frame to the base. After that, lock them together using three half-inch screws. If you want to make it look more stylish, try fitting 1x4 trims to the top of the bed. Number 10. The Tuft Bed Project Idea at Carolina Polito Wicks. Do not let your small bedroom hinder you from getting a stylish sleeping space. If you cannot afford a fancy platform bed, you can always make one yourself. You only need to make a bed frame. Then, cover the headboard, footboard, and sideboards with foam. After that, secure the foam with a layer of batting or thin fabric. Next. Drill holes to create tufts. After that, cover the boards with fabric. Then, 
Use a long upholstery needle to thread the buttons through the holes you drilled. Make a little knot and secure the thread using a staple on the back of the boards. Number 9. How to make your everyday neutral bed at SBK Living. The ultimate comfort is not only about a tough and durable bed, but also an appealing one. If you are seeking a way to style your bed to make it look more attractive and comfortable, here are some tips. First, cover the mattress with a bamboo sheet. Then, top it with a linen coverlet and try to apply hospital corners. After that, position four sleeping pillows against the headboard. Next, Cover the half end of the bed with a textured duvet. Let it dangle a bit to conceal the footboard. Then, add three Euro shams and two decorative pillows. Finally, lay a chunky knit throw onto the duvet. Number 8. The Hoover Bed Project Idea at Sophia Lauren 1993. This is another brilliant idea to style your bed and make your small bedroom look fabulous. When you notice it for the first time, you might think that the bed is floating. Well, that is not true. To get this floating effect, you need to create a base and a top frame. Once the base is ready, run the LED light along the outer sides. After that, Put the top frame in place. Next, top it with plywood boards and a mattress. Now, try to turn on the LED string light. Since you install it around the base frame, people will not see it, which creates a floating effect. Number 7. The Urban Chic Industrial Bedroom Transformation When space is the issue, People tend to shove the bed against one of the walls. They hope it can give them extra room for foot traffic. However, it may look awkward. Instead of shoving the bed against a wall, you can try positioning it in the middle. This way, you can create balance. Besides, jumping into and out of bed will be much easier because you can do it from both sides. With the bed in the middle, you may find it floating. You can overcome this problem by creating an accent wall that anchors the bed in place. Since you want to carve out the industrial style, you can expose your brick wall. If ripping the mortar is too painful, you can always use faux exposed brick wallpaper. Flank the bed with metal nightstands on both sides and add greenery for the finishing touch. Number 6. A Small Bedroom Interior Transformation by At Rassel Catapang. This design is for small bedrooms measuring 2.5 by 3 meters with a ceiling height of 3 meters. Do you have to sleep in a minute bedroom? Do not worry. It is not the end of the world. In fact, it is the beginning of your creativity. This bedroom is so tiny that you do not have much space to move. Luckily, you can make the most of it with a thoughtful design. You can begin by investing in a bunk bed to tap into the vertical space. You can place the bed on the floor level and elevate the desk. This way, you can have a comfortable place to sleep and work in the same spot. Even better, you can incorporate drawers into the stairs to have more storage. Next, place a wardrobe on the other side of the room. Make sure you have enough space for foot traffic. Number 5. The Inspiring Loft Guest Room Idea by Miss Liz this loft guest room can be the inspiration you have been looking for. It allows multiple users to share one bedroom comfortably. 
you only need to attach frame pieces along the wall. Since it is a long loft, you may need to consider installing crossbeams held by deck braces to make it sturdier. If you want to add some style, you can install beadboard paneling on the underside of the loft bed. Number four, the other inspiring small bedroom transformation you can adopt and experiment with, this time for double, at Rassel Catapang. This one is another inspiration for those who have to share a room. You can try making double loft beds. These loft beds take up two walls of this bedroom, allowing you to have comfortable space to step in the middle. It features a workspace on one side and a sitting area on the other side. You can reach the bed by taking a short trip through the stairs. The good news is they are actually drawers that will help you control clutter. Number three. The DIY platform bed frame and headboard with built-in nightstands. Some small space may make you forgo nightstands. However, it is not really necessary. This headboard can be your greatest bet. It not only anchors your bed in place, but also provides floating shelves acting as nightstands. Basic instructions to replicate the project or a similar one. Number one, drawing your plan on the drawing board, decide where you want to install the built-in cabinet. Number two, decide where you want to locate the standalone cabinets on each side of your bed. Number three, remember to choose the same drawer type for each space for the cabinets. Number four, make sure that you can support everything you have built weight-wise. You can check this by jumping on one of the floating shelves. Number two, the DIY idea on how to build your own house loft bed. Twin size idea. Your kid deserves a stylish loft bed in his tiny bedroom. If you cannot afford a fancy one, you can make it yourself. This loft bed features a small house that makes it look fascinating. It will evoke the moment when he played in a tree house. Most loft beds usually have a ladder on the sideboard. However, you will install it on the footboard instead. This way, your kid can have access to the area beneath the bed easily. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Please keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close our countdown with, finally, number one, the other floating bed frame project, this time from at Mr. Jordan 1416. This floating bed will ensure your ultimate comfort. It is like the previous floating beds. However, it is bigger. Therefore, you will need a larger base frame. Do not forget to install LED string lights to the base frame to create a mesmerizing look. Basic details. Number one, start the project with some simple carpentry skills. Number two, using a two by eight wooden board, build a base frame. This item will serve as the foundation of your floating bed frame. Number three. The next step is to install the support bracket on one side of your base frames using screws and bolts. Number four. Add two more support brackets on the other side of your base frames using screws and bolts. Your project will look like a rectangular box with three support brackets installed. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press the like button, comment it, or share it with anyone close to you on your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow the Symphone website for more awesome content related to home and decor ideas. Until we meet again, later, sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.